Did you know that TensorFlow.js isn't just for JavaScript on the back end with Node, but can also be used in the browser? Yes, you can train models in the browser with JavaScript. And not only that, you can run inference too. And if that wasn't enough, you can have models that you've trained elsewhere and run inference on those in the browser using JavaScript. So today's tip is, how do I get my browser ready for TensorFlow? And this one's almost cheating. It's a little too easy. So let's start with the simplest web page imaginable. We'll save and run it, and we'll see that we just get an empty page. So let's add a script tag to the head, and we'll add the tensorflow.js script to that. We can save and run it again, and now look at the page. There's not a lot to see right now. So let's add a div to the page, and we'll output to that later. So now let's add a simple script for training a model to infer a linear relationship. We'll create a model and just add a single layer to it, and we'll specify the loss function and the optimizer. After that, we'll specify a couple of tensors for the values. One tensor has the x values and the other has the y. There's a relationship between them, which is y equals 2x minus 1, but the model's going to infer that. We train the model with model.fit. And then we'll output the prediction for y, where x equals 10. Now, of course, it should be about 19, so let's take a look and see. And we actually get pretty close. So there's your start in using TensorFlow with JavaScript. I do hope this was a useful primer for you. For more great videos like this one, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you there.